and welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by if you are new here. So my name is Carmen and I am a planner and cash stuffer, um, cash budgeter, however you want to say it. So, um, so on my channel, if you're new, I share plan with me's, uh, planner flips, cash stuffings, and I'm planning to do a couple cash unstuffings as the time goes on. But let's go ahead and get started. So from the bank today, I took out $16.40. So this is a mix between our um, family expenses, not bills, because all our bills remain in the checking account because they're automatic. So none of those bills will be shown today. Um, also, it's for our sinking funds and long-term savings goals. Um, paycheck is not usually this high, so I'm a teacher and we got a referendum from the state of Florida. So we were paid for our years of service. And so that kind of gave like a bump in my paycheck because we did get retro paid since the beginning of the year. So that's the only reason why this paycheck is so high compared to our normal um, paycheck. So this is not a normal paycheck at all. This is just, I'm finding a way to stuff for our expenses. So here off to the side, this is my paycheck breakdown. So this is actually a digital in my shop. So my shop is linked down below. I have different uh, budgeting items like the teller slip that I showed you and my different placeholders as well. Um, and then I have literally a whole budget workbook and uh, wallet bundles and you'll see some, well, how the wallet envelopes look or envelopes in general. but. If that interests you, cash stuffing, go ahead and stick around, grab yourself a cup of coffee, tea. I have my handy dandy water, which I'm gonna go ahead and take a sip of, and then we're gonna go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna start off with our wallet envelope. So we typically use our credit card and then we'll um, pay back, but we do really stay in our budget. Um, we used to not, but since I started tracking everything, it has gotten a lot easier for us to stay on budget. Um, so this is my wallet envelope. I also have these dashboards available in my shop. And the wallet bundle, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, comes with groceries, dine out, uh, gas, household, personal hygiene, spending, and fun. So those are the seven that it comes with. And then you'll see a couple extra ones in here. And those are my personal ones. So first one is coffee and that's getting $20 and I believe I budgeted two tens for that. I also have my uh, cash envelope breakdown here off to the side. It just helps me remember what kind of denominations I put since there was so much going on. So I did put two tens. So it has two tens and that's all it has right now. So it has 20. So I'm just gonna mark it off as I'm going through. So next is dining out and dining out is getting 250. So let's see, it was 250s, 620s, three, four, five, six, two tens and two fives. So let's double count that, make sure that's 250. 51, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 30, 40, 45, and 50. 
perfect. So let's add that in. So now I just added in the 20 from what was in there. So now dining out has 270. So this is to pretty much take care of our family of four plus our cousin that kind of just hangs around as well um, for two weeks. So I don't budget every, or I don't cash stuff every week. I catch cash stuff every two weeks. Um, so fun is getting 20 and I just budgeted a 20. So now it has 20, 25, 35, 40. So we have 40 here in fun. Gas, I budgeted 200 and I did that 250s or 20s and then 210s. You have 51, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, and 2, and that's all that it has. So the envelopes that I do offer are the plastic envelopes. Um, I don't actually make the envelopes, I just do the uh, customization on it and I offer them in zipless and in zipper form. Uh, so groceries is getting $4.50, so that's going to be six fifties, five twenties. Um, three tens and four fives. Okay, so we've got 51, 52, 53, 20, 40, 60, 84, 10, 20, 35, 45, 50, so 450. Okay, household is getting 10. Now it has 10, 15, and 20. Okay. Personal hygiene is getting 15. So now it has 20, 35, 45. And then I offer the vinyl in different colors. So if you wanna see the different color vinyls, you can um, check out the shop. And also if there's a vinyl color that you'd like specifically, just kind of shoot me a message and we can figure that out. Right now I only offer it in one font, um, but I will kind of start experimenting with other fonts and see how they look. But this one for me, the bubble letter one, I absolutely love. Um, and then spending is getting 50. So it's two 20s and a 10. And that's all it has is 50. And then the last envelope here, I haven't cut out or yeah, I haven't cut out the vinyl. This is our wallet buffer and it's going to be getting 30. And I believe I put a 20 and a 10. Yes, 20 and a 10. And that's all it has right now. Um, we have a buffer account if we need it. But for right now, that's where we're at. All right. So that was my wallet. Next is going to be my long-term savings. I'm just going to flip my page here. Um, okay. So first up we have annual pass. So this is our annual pass holder for Disney. I pay for my daughter and I, um, cause we're pretty much the only ones that go. Uh, this is the only year we'll actually do it because my son is still free. Um, he turns three in June. So kind of, won't be able to do that anymore. But it's getting 69. And this is half. Um, I pay 138. Yeah, 137 and change um, for the both of us a month. So 50, 65, 667, 6, 68, and 69. So that's all it has because I just paid for last month. Back to school is getting 15. So now it has 120, 30, 35. Um, I'm really bulking that one up because my daughter's gonna be changing um, to a different middle school. So I'm gonna have to buy different uniforms and it's, it's gonna be a lot. Okay, so birthdays is getting 10 and that's all it has. 
Now my emergency fund, this one's a little different. So I'm putting in 500, but I automatically, since it was 500, I just kind of transferred it over to its account. So I'm gonna take this placeholder out, which was a $500 placeholder, and I'm gonna put in a $1,000 placeholder here. So now it has a thousand and five. So that is perfect. So a thousand and five. Electronics, which is a new category for me, is getting 20. I really want to get myself an iPad because I have been watching um, a couple different uh, YouTubers. One in particular, we have Intentional Living. I love how she has her um, her paycheck breakdown and her budgeting on her iPad and it works perfectly. And then I just started watching, I think it's prayers and paychecks. Um, I'll link them both down in the, in the description below so you guys can check them out. But I love how they have it just on the iPad. It just makes it so much easier to track the spending, um, on the go. Our mother daughter trip, which is a trip that my daughter and I go on every single year is going to be getting 46. So this year we are heading to Disney to obviously make use of our pass holder. Um, I guess like our passes. So right now it has 500 in the bank, 50, 70, 90, 610, 620, 25 to 6 to 7, 20, and 29. So 629. And I think from here, the only thing that I have to remember I need to pay is the other day of the hotel because I've already paid for one day. Um, so I just gotta keep that in mind from here with what we have to spend. So medical is getting 10 and it has 20, 30, 40, and five. My student loan is getting 100. That's all it has. So subscriptions here. So this is also something that I made, uh, the little kind of tabs here to separate them. So it's getting 15. So here's the thing. I actually was putting this together and I realized that I'm actually fully funded with Amazon and with our Walmart. Well, Walmart's coming out this. Mm. Yeah, I'm fully funded for Walmart because it doesn't redo our Walmart Plus uh, membership until the end of December. So those two are both fully funded. So the only one that I'm actually gonna be stuffing today is BJ's, our wholesale, and that's gonna get five. And I'm gonna make note because I'm gonna put $10 somewhere else. And I think I'm gonna put it in our travel um, envelope. So let's see. So subscriptions has, Where's my calculator? So we have 70. And then in BJ's we have 20. And then Walmart we have 110. So in total we have 200 in subscriptions. My husband and I both, um, we split the Amazon um, Prime payment, so then that's just my half of the payment. Okay, Valentine's Day is getting five, so it has 30. Easter is also getting five, and it also has 30. Fourth of July is getting five. Pretty much all my holidays are getting five. It has 20, 30, five, and 40. Halloween, we are gonna bulk back up. It is getting five. Oh, that poor five got bit on the end. Thanksgiving, again, this is another one we're bulking back up as well as Black Friday right after it. Um, just use them both all up this past week. So they are ready to go for next year. At least ready to get going for next year. And then in New Year's, it's also getting five. Do 20, 30, and five. 
Um, we're actually going to a family member's house this year for New Year's, so I'm not even sure if we're gonna use that too much, probably just um, to bring drinks or something. So that's it for long-term spending, or long-term savings, I may add. Okay, next we are gonna do our sinking fund savings. So for BJ's, for those big trips, we're gonna add in 20, so it has 40. We are adding 30 into baby needs. My son is running low on his diapers. And I do want to get these this week because Target has a really good deal. If you buy 100, you get a $30 Target gift card. So this is the week that I want to get it. So I want to make sure I have at least some money in there for that. Um, boat is not getting anything and it has nothing. Braces, tampoco. Now clothing is getting 40. So it has 20, 30, wow. 20, 40, 60, and 70. I actually have to unstuff from this one so it won't really have 70 anymore. Date night is not getting stuffed, but it has 20. Disney is not getting stuffed, so it has, but it still has one, 20, 30, and five. This is for like um, any spending that we do whenever we go to Disney. So whenever we take a little ride up there. Gifts is not getting stuff and it just has 10. 10. Kids is getting 15. So it has 10, 20, and 5. Uh, pet care is not getting stuffed and it has nothing. Uh, planner is getting 20. And that's all it has. And self-care is getting skipped because I just used everything out of there. And then our buffer for our sinking funds is getting 50. So I think I did it because um, this is a new way of me doing this. So I just need to make sure I did this correctly. So it's a 20, two times a five and the five ones that are here, I believe. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Um, this is meant to be like our miscellaneous in our wallet. Um, which, you know what? I may switch this one for my wallet one, but I'll do that later. I'll do that off camera. So I have 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. Because that seems more like the lower bills that I would use for that as opposed to the 30 that I put in there. So I may switch that around and just have that different for next time. Okay, so that takes care of my sinking fund savings. And then lastly, it's going to be this guy right here. So this, I took a lot of inspiration from Intentional Living. I absolutely love how she kept everything like in one big ass envelope, okay? So I love it. So I made these, um, so each of them has like whatever they are. So your registration, maintenance, deductible, and other in car. So for this one, we are putting 15 in registration. So here so far we have 50, 70, 80, 85. And then I'm putting five in maintenance. And I, yeah, so five. And then there's nothing in the other ones. So currently in car, there is 90. Christmas. So I'm gonna take this out because this was the remaining for this year. And I just bought my daughter's teacher's gifts. So this is actually everything that was there. So now we are stuffing this for next year already. I cannot believe Christmas hasn't even come and I'm already starting for next year. So Sid, which is my daughter, is getting 10. Julian, my son, is getting 10. My husband is getting 10. My uh Brother's kids, so my nieces and nephews are also getting 10. So, so far we are at 40. Um, our secret Santa is getting five. Decor is getting five. Food is getting five. And our other, for any other miscellaneous items, is also getting five. So we have a total of 60. And that's pretty much gonna be the amount that I stuff every single paycheck to make sure that I hit my goals. I should be able to hit the goals prior to um, 
the end of November next year, which is great the way that I set it up this year. Home, so we are gonna be putting, I think it was maintenance and escrow if I'm not mistaken. Let me double check. Um, no, it was furniture and escrow. So we're putting a total of 10 in home, but it's gonna go into five into furniture. And then escrow is getting five as well. And it already had in here 30, so now it has 35. So in home altogether, we have 40. And then travel, I was gonna just put 10 into lodging, but now I'm going to also add five into um, food and drinks and five into car. So that's gonna be a total of 20 going into travel. And we have stuffed everything, so it's all good. So these, again, are all my new totals here. And yeah, if you guys have any questions about where anything was from in particular, or if you have questions about budgeting in general, I can help to my knowledge. I am in no way a financial guru at all. This is just my family's personal experience, but yeah, go ahead and check out my shop below, see if there's anything that you like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.